Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to unbox and set up an electric, a height adjustable stand-up desk frame from Topski. Uh, so this is basically a surface uh, that you can move up and down, except this unit doesn't contain the surface. You have to have your own, which for us isn't a problem. I'm going to put this into this office and this office already has a number of surfaces that I want to replace from their current cube configuration to something that is floating like this. Now, I haven't done one of these before, although I've done a million projects if you've watched the channel before, uh, and I really don't know what to expect. So the question really is, what tools do I need? Because I can't seem to find anything on that. And how easy is this to set up? Is this gonna be an all day thing? Or is this going to be a 20 minute slap together? I just don't know. Let's do it together and find out. The reason I bought this top ski standing desk or top sky standing desk as it might be, and that gets to a good point, we have no affiliation at all with uh, Amazon or with this company. So this is completely honest what we're about to tell you. But the reason we bought it was because it was still pretty cheap at about uh, 330 Canadian. So let's go with 225 US. Pop the guides in. Don't think I can screw this up. I think there's only one way to do this. But it's unlike the cheap ones you can buy in the $150 range, this one has dual motor and it supports a lot more weight. Oh, okay. The user of so this like... is going to have three monitors on his desk, plus his laptop and a few other bits and pieces. Plus he's gonna lean on it once in a while and we needed something really solid for him to work from. This unit also supported a much wider surface than what many of these smaller home ones do. This one will adjust up and down from 27 I inches hope. to 47 inches, and it supports a width from 43 inches to what it claims is 59 inches, but I don't see why you can't get up to 70 inches on this. In fact, you'll see that we added a very large surface to this, and it is very stable. So these are the M6 by 8, which is the bottom bag here, and we put them in loosely not tight just loose finger tight sort of thing now it does provide the allen key but i don't want to use that because there's a lot of them so i'm going to use a drill and i'm going to set my drill on the lightest i can lightest tension there we go These point to each other. There we go. Those have to face up. This is the M610s. Right there. Second bag. There you can see the holes there. Then side here. Let's see if their Allen key is better. Yep. Okay. Get started with the Allen key. So make sure that these flanges are sticking out. And there was a warning to not tighten these up too much. These, because you're going to need to adjust this. And I can see here, I need to adjust this. In case you hadn't noticed, these were the guides that uh, we put in originally, the very first step. Five extra screws, I'll put them aside. Stand it up. Put the top brackets on. There's holes right there. These are the same M610s. No surprise, these are the M630s, the next bag up. Okay. 
Okay, now it's time to tighten things up. Let's see how much torque is left on this. Oh, a fair amount. So I'm going to change my drill. 12. These I will leave loose because I have to extend them to wherever they need to go in the future. Now we have to connect the power. They call this the handset, probably because it has the controls. I'm in North America, so I have a North American supply. If you were elsewhere, you would have a different supply. So what it says to do is to connect power adapter, which is easy. There's only one way to put it in. So you can't screw it up. Good. And plug this in. This we don't actually have to unwind. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this yet, whether it's going to be here or here, you know, just where, what, you know, where I'm going to put it. So I'm going to leave that loose. This will only go on one way, so that's easy. And this is an extension for the other side, whatever side is your furthest away. Now let's stand it up and test it. So I see one mistake here. I put this on top. I obviously have to pull that off and put it under because the surface is going to be here. Perfect. Now we just have to put, have to put a surface on here. So I've screwed the surface down and put it on top and it's solid. I plugged it in and tested, made sure that it works. And now I've just got to tidy up the cables and it comes with these awesome little properly branded 3M cable management. So about the last thing you need to know is to make sure you put your most of your cables on top and not down below because when you raise this up and lower this down, you don't want your cables to get pinched and you need to leave some slack for the power in particular because that is going to move. So, what's our overall review of the Topski or Top Sky dual motor electric powered standing desk? We like it. it. Appears to be a high quality product, it's very smooth, at a very reasonable price. That looks like it supports a lot of weight and a lot of size. It certainly appears to be as good a quality as our $2,000 commercial standing desks that we have purchased several times in the past. Hey, so if you like this video, please give us the big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Also, if you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below, and if we don't get a hold of you, somebody else will, because on YouTube, everybody has an opinion. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye-bye.